Hope you're doing good. Micah back with another video. Back here to talk about iOS 17.3.1 that recently dropped for the iPhone. And here with the iPhone 15 Pro rocking this beautiful rinky Alice case. I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys below. I've showed this off before, but this is a solid case that has convinced me to put a nice case on the phone. iOS 17.3.1 is a pretty interesting update. And side note, I'm rocking Night Shield right now. Well, <laughs> Night Shield, Night Shift uh, right now. So that's why you might see a slight yellow tinge. But I don't know if you quite do yet iOS 17.3.1 is an interesting update because it really just addressed one thing clearly. But considering that, if I show you guys real quick, if you guys see right here, the update, it well, it doesn't say, but the update was around, it was just under 800 megabytes. So to me, when you see an update that that's big, and when it's that big, even though it says it addressed text that may unexpectedly duplicate or overlap while typing, to me, it signals not only did it address that specific feature or that specific bug and glitch within iOS, it also addressed other text related issues and a lot, maybe a few other under the hood improvements that just didn't deem worthy of being needed to be noted. So we're going to get into that in this video. Also, what we're going to do is go over this soon this is by cray so shout out to them for sending this out this is their travel pro battery charger if you will so we're going to go over this in a second but what i would like to talk about is the fact that this update has no security updates it's straight text so when you, even you go to apple's published website they don't show or say anything about cve nothing cve was related to this this was to address a specific bug now if we go into settings i can show you guys of course going to general going into software update as you guys can see we're rocking 17.3.1 and if we back out and we go into about and we come down here we did get a new modem update 1.4.01 so we're going to get some slightly improved connectivity when it comes to, you know, using the phone and data. So that's always a welcome when it comes to our iPhones. But here are some things that I also wanted to potentially address that this may have also fixed or improved. Battery life is always one. And my battery life has been fine. I've been using Apple Maps for a good period of day. I've been listening to music for a good period of day. I have been out on town for a good period of the day today between essentially 11 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night along with just general use and casting youtube to my tv for a good portion of the day and i am now heading to bed with about ooh, what's that 15 percent so being in the car blasting brightness when it's in the car you're going to drain a little bit more when it comes to that nit peak brightness that the, the new iPhone 15 series has. And so I've been using a lot of display today. But I will say that this update probably has continual improvements to battery life, overall usability, Wi-Fi, cellular connectivity, hence the modem update, app optimization, touch response so on and so forth so just because it may only highlight one thing such as text overlapping which is a big deal don't think that it has not addressed other features other aspects of the phone especially given that it was an 800 megabyte update or roughly 779 megabytes that means more was involved than just that one specific bug so that is it for ios 17.3.1 i think what i want to show you guys now is this travel pro a you know battery charger <laughs> external battery charger it looks really really nice it looks like those are the indications there on the front this is the box by the way it's a pretty nice heavy box uh nice size box fast charge right 13,400 milliamps so it's going to be a decent sized battery charger and i'm glad that they sent it out because it's always good to know that there's other brands out there that have very solid external battery chargers. And based off this, the specifications here, the charge time to charge this back up to full is between four and five hours. And as you guys can see, it does operate with USB-C power delivery and quick charge 3.0. And it 
it's max is 18 watts, which means you're not going to go past 3 amps. Now, hopefully they start making more of these that have 5 amp chargers. You would also need a 5 amp cable, but for this case, 3 amp is more than sufficient to get you a good level of charge for your devices. Since the iPhone 15 Pro has a battery roughly around, what, 3,300 milliamps? If I needed to charge it, I could charge it about three times with this before having to recharge this battery charger. So now that I've done enough talking, let's go ahead and grab that unboxing knife and open this up. It almost looks like an iPhone. That's actually kind of funny. So upon taking the battery out, as you guys can see here, it is nice and thick. It's a thick boy. So we're going to get more into this here in a second. But upon putting this right here, because it should still be in frame, what else do we get in here? We get a travel pouch for it. So thank you for sending that with it. Smart idea, Crave. Smart idea. And then you get some brief instructions here or your typical run-of-the-mill paperwork. And then you got your user guide, 13,400 milliamps. I actually like this, so I'll probably keep that. And then they provide you with one cable, USB-C A to USB-C. A little surprise given that it does USB-C. It did, they didn't provide you a USB-C to USB-C cable, so interesting there. And that is pretty much it for the box. I, I think this comes out. Uh, it does not. So that's it for the box. And on the inside, they kind of give you what Cray provides there. If you look inside, you can see right there. So great, interesting information. That's a cable I don't quite need, so I'll put that in the box for now. Close it up, bring the pouch over here, and the power brick, if you will. And upon removing, Where's the, uh, where do I start at here? There's got to be a starting point somewhere. Well, I guess that's all you have to do. So, it is not laminated. It is very smooth to the touch. And here's your cable, your connection right here. USB-C, USB-A, and USB-A. And as you guys can see, it lets you know that's a 2.4 amp. It's going to be quick, char quick charge 3.0 or essentially 3 amp, and you'll be able to get 3 amps out of USB-C. Get your labeling on the back there. This is your button. All you got to do is press it. That lets you know this thing is not properly charged right now. So I'm going to let this charge overnight. Brain dead. This is one of the first times that I've experienced an external battery charger or even a phone upon opening and unboxing it that it was completely dead. So I got to charge this up, and then it should work with no problems. Now, back to iOS 17.3.1. Let me know down in the comment section below. Have you guys experienced or seen anything during your experience? Have you been upgraded yet? I can safely recommend you to update to iOS 17.3.1 because it only promises improvements. And that's what I've seen thus far. The comment section will be open for discussion. But again, as always, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. It's all free. That way you never miss my videos. So you and I can sit back to that. Who's cracking? But your man, Mike, is signing out. Until the next video. Wait for it.